this is my test site and currently it has nine users they have different roles here as you see and this is my other test site with one user in this video I'm gonna export all those users from site 1 to site B and I'm gonna do it with a couple of clicks so if you're interested then jump in and in order to do so we need to install a plugin called import export WordPress users and WooCommerce customers the one you see on the screen right now it allows us to import users based on the user roles emails date of range you can batch import or export you can retain user passwords if needed you can export WordPress users with passwords that means if I import the user they can log in with the same passwords they had before so let's go to our site go to plugins add new and search for import export users and WooCommerce customers this one here by WebToffee install and activate it and after that you'll see that there is a menu up here whether I would like to export or import click on it but before you do that let's take a look at the general settings over here basically there's nothing to configure except you can provide the number of records to be imported in a batch and you can provide the default count for the record to be exported in a batch under the advanced options you can configure maximum execution time whether to generate import log default import method whether it's advanced pre-saved or quick import you can save templates for yourself later I'm going to show you how to do that so you can select this one here usually I don't do anything over here and so I'm going to go to the export site once again just for the testing purposes let's take a look on this site I have nine users with different user roles so I'm going to export all of those here you'll see that also you can export orders but you need an add-on for it same goes with the coupons or WooCommerce products product reviews product categories product tags all those need a WooCommerce add-on you can install it but the free version has some limitations later I'm going to show you what I mean by that you can also export subscription but premium version is required for it but at the moment let's choose customers and users select an export method quick export export all the basic fields or advanced export let's take a look at this one here total number of users to export you can skip specified number of users from the beginning of the database you can export specific users by email by user roles by registration date you can sort column if needed and sorting options also here I'm not going to do anything here because I just need to export users so let's move to the mapping here you can add the column name if needed you can rearrange them if needed usually I don't do anything here just scroll down and press on this button but if I would not like to add billing city or billing state in the export file then I can deselect those here so you can select and deselect the fields you need to export next click on advanced option batch export button now you can choose whether to export guest users set the delimiter for your CSV file and save as a template let's save it as a test template here and now I'm going to press an export button download file I'll save the CSV file here and this is done now if I go to the general settings you'll see that there is a test template I saved I can choose the default export method as a pre-saved template and this one here will be selected now let's import all those users to this site here and in order to import the users we're going to go to the plugins add new and once again install this plugin on this site and if you already forgot then the plugin is called import export wordpress users and woocommerce customers let's install it and activate it since we don't have anything to configure we're going to go to the import export menu click on import and as you see there is a warning message to you that plugin uploads imported file to this folder please ensure that public access restriction are set in a server for this folder and there is a small piece of code you need to add to HCI access file in case you're using Nginx server 
At the moment, I'm going to select post type to import user, but I can also select all other ones in order to import orders or I need a WooCommerce add-on. Let's stick with the users at the moment. So select the import method. I'm going to upload the file I export from the other site. Now I'm going to map import columns. ID is ID and so on. If there is anything not correct, you can change them here. But since I'm using the same plugin for import and export, there is no mapping for me to do. As you see, there is a user level. I don't have any levels on my other site. This will be skipped. And if everything is OK, I'm going to press an advanced option batch import button. What happens if user exists? I'm going to skip it. Whether I would like to retain user passwords, I choose yes, because I need my users to be able to log in with their old passwords. And now let's import. It says those users were imported successfully. I can view users, view log, or close it. Now if I go to the users menu, you'll see that all the users are imported. I'm going to log out and test whether I can log in with this username I had on other site. I'm going to log out, go to the login, try the username and password, log in, and done. Works like a charm. So this was about the user and customer import and export. Now let's take a look how to export products with the same plugin. Once again, go to the export tab, choose product. As you see, it says you need to have a WooCommerce add on it. So let's install it. It opens up this site. You can see that with a free version, you can export only simple products, group products or external affiliate products. If you need to export attributes, variable products and so on, then you need a premium version. But the logic behind the plugin is the same. So let's install it and activate it and you'll see that this another plugin has been installed here. Now let's go to the export, choose product, select export method, quick or advanced. Let's take a look at the advanced once again. You can export specific products here. You can filter them by stock status. You can exclude products or export products that belong to a particular categories. Also the same with the tags and product status. Now let's map it. You'll see that the same options with the users, only the fields are a bit different. There are also categories and attributes. Now let's export it as a file, save, go to the other site, import, let's import the product, upload the file, map it if needed. As you see, there are also some explanations for you over here. Now, advanced and patch import, whether to skip import of new products. Now let's match products by the, by the SKU. So I don't import the duplicate products here. Now let's set what happens if product exists in the store. I'm going to skip it. And now I'm going to press an import button. Imported successfully five products, skipped 15 products, view products, and here they are. Easy peasy, isn't it? Now, once again, if you need to export and import variable products, then you need to purchase a premium version. Other than that, awesome plugin, easy to use, and solves your problem if you need to import or export your users from one site to another. Now, before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.